I'm at Education City in Qatar. Very excited because World Cup winner Kylian Mbappe. We are waiting for the one and only David Beckham. We're going to just have a chat and a little bit of a walk around the stadium that he will be gracing. We are here in the stadium, Education City Stadium. Good. 40,000 people can be there. French Tunisia. I hope we're going to win and after we play against Morocco and um, I have to destroy my friend. I'm going to kick him. <laughs> that will break my heart a little bit, but you know the football, it is what it is. He's a player that I really respect. What he does on a pitch, he's a genius. Everybody in Qatar, around the world, will be looking forward to uh, seeing him play here. I'm personally looking forward to having a chat with him out on the pitch. You already see David Beckham in real? Yep. You are lucky. Turn, 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 David no, no, Beckham no, no, is it's here. Coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. Good, good. Yeah? Yeah, it's good. That was funny. It's good to come here to see the stadium for the first time. We came here three years ago, but it was not like this. I've been in every one of the stadiums now and they're incredible. I can't wait. Can't wait to be Wish here. I was playing still. Right. <laughs> no, for us, no. Eh? <laughs> <laughs>
I was like this, and I can say I can say more things to the player. You watch player, you know, when you have favorite player idols, you watch on TV, you say, yeah, I want to be like him. Zizou, you can't touch Zizou. He's more important than the president in France. Uh, he was like, he's the only guy, he take a red card in the final, everybody in the country say, no problem, it's Zizou. If, if, if he yeah. falls another one, everybody kill him. <laughs> but it's Zizou, you cannot say he's the best. Uh, I was like, I was like a big fan. I'm again a big fan of him uh, because every everything he did on the pitch, it was the right things. Uh, he didn't do the things only for the show, for himself. Everything he, he did on the pitch, it was for the team, for the games, for the love of the games. And I think everybody saw that and it's for that everybody say uh, it's a big, big legend of the game. I was lucky enough to play with him. I was lucky enough to see him play. Uh, and he's an absolute genius, you know, on the pitch, off the pitch, a very special person. Um, the person that I used to pretend to be was Brian Robson. You know, he wore the number seven for Manchester United, wore the number seven for England, played for England, played for United, captained both England and Manchester United. And, you know, when I used to score goals or make tackles, I always used to run off saying, I'm Brian Robson. So he was my, he was my hero. You know, when you have favorite player idols, you watch on TV, you say, yeah, I want to be like him. Uh, I want to be like him. Uh, today it's him, maybe tomorrow it will be me. And, uh, and thanks to God, now it's my turn. It's my turn to inspire people, to give my best on the pitch, to give the best image to the young guys. And I think that starts when you are young. And I think everybody is the same. We are not different on this, on this yeah. point. Everybody wants to be the best. Everybody wants to play, to be professional, to play the World Cup. Uh, but if I can say something else, I don't see that like sacrifice because, you know, when, when it's your passion, when you love the games, you see that like, OK, I do this because I love that. Yeah. Uh, that's not the, the same thing when you don't love the things, you know, I love football. And since I'm young, it was my dream. So I do. In my mind, I was like, OK, I'm going to do everything to be a football player. If not, OK, I'm going to play football, but in different level. But I'm going to play football because I love football. So it's for that, for me, it's not sacrifice, but I know to be the best, you have to work. You have to work more than the other one because everybody wants to be, to be the first one to win something, to, to be the first one to play the World Cup, to, to be the first one to be with all the fans. So you have to work. You have to be a little bit lucky because I was a little bit lucky, but you have to create this luck. So, but I think uh, it's my vision of this point. people that inspired me throughout my career, um, my father, you know, my father was hard working. So I hope that that's where I got my hard work part of my career from. I think that that is a big part of, uh, of what I've done in my career. Um, but I think the coaches that I've had over the years, you know, uh, Sunday league or youth teams uh, and up until Manchester United, you know, I had a great coach at Manchester United, Sir Alec Ferguson. Um, but then, like you, I think in every team that I played for, you know, people inspired me. Brian Robson, Eric Cantona, you know, then I moved to Madrid and I played with Zizou, Ronaldo, you know, Raul, Roberto Carlos, all of these players. And still, when I was playing in PSG at 37 years old, I was still wanting to learn. I was still wanting to learn from players like Slatan and, and the players that I was playing with. So I continued to try and learn and to be inspired, even at 38 years old. Yeah, that's good. That's good because you learn all your life. Yeah. All your life you're gonna you have learn. to keep learning. Yeah. I met a lot of people in my career when I start to play football, and I think all these people. Uh, I was lucky to meet people like you. I, I can say with you. All football legends, you learn when you meet, you talk to them, the experience they had in their career, the experience they do, all the things they do, they won. And when they lost too, because you learn, because I have this type of thing. In their hero, I risked my penalty and it was something I have to learn, to the, the frustration to lose, to lose something important. Everybody watch this. <laughs> I 
against my penalty uh, against Sutherland. We, we lost after I was my, uh, all the things with Madrid that didn't go. Uh, everybody didn't understand what happened. And, and in France, it was a little bit difficult. And the best way to, to have your revenge, if you can say something like this, is to work, to go to training. I was in training, I was like, okay, I'm focused only on my game. Uh, I'm here, I play in a great team, uh, the best team in the league, one of the best in the world. I'm happy. Uh, I have to play my game, to, to love my game, to love my job, and the things will be easier. And after I restart to score goals, to be to be good, to be great on the pitch, and after the things the things come easily and we won the league and it was better. Me, I was like, I was young, I start to win, to win, to win, and I was like, in my in my mind, I was thinking, okay, I will win all my career, but no, <laughs> no, sometimes you have something like this, something like this. You have to stay strong and to work. Uh, it's, like, uh, it's like I say always, that you know this better than me. I think you have to go through difficult moments like that. Yeah. You know, you don't understand it at the time, but when you come out of that, then you understand why it happened. It had and to with happen that, for And with that, I grew up like a player and like a man, yeah. because I learned. So it was a good experience now, because it's a good hand, but it was a difficult moment. But I, now I know, I know what it is. And, and I will say, you know, my most difficult moment in my career um, was 1998 when I got the red card. Uh, for the next four years, it was very difficult. I didn't. I couldn't understand why it happened. I was 21 years old. Um, some of the things that I went through, you know, going to different stadiums around England, playing for England, that was a very difficult moment for me. Yeah, but because then you think, you think it's your fault. You yeah. know, you are like, it's my fault. Yeah, yeah I'm not that good. Maybe yeah. you, you think a lot. You have a lot of creation, but the only answer you have is to work. Hard work. Hard work is the only way to to success for me. Yeah. And, um, and to be happy, to be happy because uh, everybody forgets sometimes, but mentally you have to be, to be cool, to be nice, because it's yeah. important when you play like 15 games in the season, you have to be happy in what you do. Yeah, of course. And uh, sometimes maybe you are fit, your body is fit, everybody is good, but in your head you're not good, you have some problems and on the pitch nobody understands because no. it's not writing on your back, yeah, I have yeah. problem, no. So you have, to, you have to work, to work, but to stay calm, to be healthy and to be happy. That's the only way I knew to get over that time, you know, is to work harder. And for the next year, for the next two years, I worked as hard as I possibly could. And then I understood that a moment like that happens to make you stronger. You don't realize it at the time, but it happens to make you stronger. And that's the only way I, I knew how to get out of it was hard work. I think the most nervous that I've ever been in a game was the Champions League final. You know what it's like when you play in a game that big. Um, you know, we'd had a long season in England. We'd won. You, you and me, we are different. You won, I lost the final in Champions uh, League. Right, don't worry, it's <laughs> coming. Don't worry, it's coming. <laughs> I didn't usually get nervous in games. You know, I, I, I'm not really nervous playing football, but that game was the only game where I was walking out, I was like, okay, it was at the new Camp against Bayern Munich, big game. We could have, we, we were gonna make the treble. So it was a big year, but um, that's probably the most nervous I've ever been in a, in a football match. Yeah, but that's finished good, so... Yeah, that bit it's, finished It's well. a good memory now. <laughs> Me, I don't talk too much about the Champions League final because it's a sad memory when you pass yeah. to the cup. That's what Sir Alex Ferguson said to us at half-time. We were losing 1-0 and he said... The only thing he said to us at half-time was don't walk past that trophy without being able to pick it up. Yeah. Yeah, that was because, that was what we went I think out. When you play this type of game, you don't you don't, you don't need to talk too much. No. Everybody know Everyone the importance ready. of the game. Yeah. Everyone is ready. Me, I'm always nervous. Uh, I'm always nervous because uh, every game uh, it's a new page to write history. Uh, so I'm always nervous. 
I'm always thinking before the game, uh, always I'm thinking, OK, I want to give my best. I want to show uh, I'm the best. I want to show I'm good. I want to show uh, I don't want to have deception, you know, because it's the it's the biggest feeling, you know, you have when you have deception, when you are sad of yourself, it's it's hard. And I think I'm nervous every game. But of course, when you play Champions League, World Cup is different. It's a different mood. It's a different atmosphere. Um, it's the game when you dream when you are young. So it's different. But for me, when you play in the biggest clubs in the world, uh, everybody waits for you all the time, every three days. So we cannot stay like this and stay, OK? I will waiting for the game or the Champions League. No, you play in the league. We are waiting for you in the league. So it's like this when you want to play in, uh, in the biggest stage. But walking out that moment in the World Cup final at your age, was that the most nervous that you've ever been in a football match? No, 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 because like you say, I was young. Yeah. So I didn't realize I was like, OK, I'm going to play. Like yeah, I'm going to play. I'm going to play. Even when we won, I was like, OK, I take the World Cup in the end. I saw my family <laughs> was crazy. Me, I was like, OK, I take the picture. Everybody yeah. is happy. I say, OK, <laughs> let's do a party after something. <laughs> But you didn't realize because, you know, when you are young, you, you don't think too much. You live your life, you enjoy. I enjoy the moment with my teammates. And after, you know, a few years later, when I watch the, the picture, I say, OK, I did this. You did that. But now, now everybody forgets because now uh, we have the, another World Cup. Nobody and... forgets, don't worry. <laughs> Nobody forgets. I want to say thank you to all my teammates because it's collective thing. Yeah, well, congratulations. Thank you. I will be back soon against <laughs> Tunis.